Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Chris and uh, this is my first DIY sharing video. Wife wanted a barn door. I didn't want to pay that much money to get one already pre-made at uh, Home Depot. It's going to be like $600 for two of them. I decided to go ahead and make them myself. $100 and I had enough wood to make two barn doors. Barn door number one. This slant right here is going to go the opposite way on the second barn door. And um, yeah, I'll show you how I did it. First thing you want to do is you want to, if you have the uh, ability to, is uh, you want to plane your wood. Um, I've already done this on my other pieces, so I've got five pieces of uh, white pine. It was like seven bucks. It's a one by eight, and I'm just going to run it through the planer and clean off some of these uh, riveted edges here. All right, so we finished planting our wood. Uh, that's by no means a requirement. That's just something I like to do. If you uh, wanna pay a little bit more and you can have wood that's cleaned up already, you know, go for it. But uh, for me, all my wood's cleaned up. Now I'm gonna start making my cuts. My cuts are gonna be 84 inches long because um, that's how tall I need my doors to be. So make sure yours is uh, applicable to your project. All right, so you just finished up your cuts on your wood. Mine was 84 inches long. Uh, I used a chop saw or miter saw to, uh, to cut mine. As with every project, in my opinion, there's no right or wrong way to do it. There are better ways. Um, I just do with what I got. Chop saw worked for me. Um, use a table saw, use whatever you gotta do to get yours done, so. All right, so here we go. We've got five one by eights that are 84 inches long. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine these pieces together and we're gonna make our uh, our base of our door. Next, I got these uh, pieces of wood stood up. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come through and I'm going to add some wood glue to give me some stability. I'm going to go all the way down these lines here and I'm going to connect them before I use my uh, pipe clamps to join them all together. All right, so once you've gotten your five boards down, I'm using pipe clamps here to keep them together. And uh, obviously I'm using some weights to keep it down and that way it kind of maintains that flat posture. And uh, so I'll give it a second and then I'll be adding the boards on top and the bottom and in the middle and make it look nice. All right, here we go. So we've got our, our top and our bottom bases here. This is what's kind of holding these together along with the wood glue. This is the start of the actual personality of the, the barn door. So these are one by eights. Um, so make sure that you have at least another one by eight to cut up. And um, ours are 33 inches wide, but uh, make yours as wide as you need to make them. All right, so basically what you wanna do next is you wanna have them, what I use is a square here. And I used a kind of a long level. And then what I did is I lined it up as flush as I could with the square and then kind of felt where the line is on this board here and I use this as a guide. Use a flat edge of some sort and then kind of eye it a little bit. And then what you'll do here is you'll take your pencil, you'll basically just drag your pencil line across here. Now let's move it a little bit. Flat edge against the, uh, the wall of the board. Get it nice and flat. Feel around, make sure that's nice and tight. And just drag your pencil. This is the cut that you're gonna make. All right, so here we go. We've got our board going across. Now you can see I have a little bit of a gap here. Um, I could go ahead and redo this if I want to, but the general concept is there. Um, you know, just make sure that it's you know nice and tight when you're, you're holding your board down. Uh, otherwise though, it's a, it's a pretty simple process to go ahead and do. Um, in the grand scheme of things, this is the barn door. And um, yeah, pretty pleased with it. Can't complain, not bad for an amateur, I guess. All right, here we have it. We have two barn doors that are gonna go in our pantry. And um, you can see one side here is finished with uh, a little bit of some wood filling. Probably go back over that, we're gonna do some sanding, and then uh, I'll come back to this after I've stained it. Uh, a lot of the gaps that I have in here that are a little bit of imperfections will um, 
somewhat disappear as I uh, put the stain on. So anyway, that's the uh, the building process of building a barn door. All right, here we go, day two. Still working on this barn door. Uh, if you follow the other parts of this video, then you see that it's already built, but now we're just putting some stain on it. So we're using an, uh, a uh, espresso uh, stain from Home Depot. This is kind of what it looks like. Yeah, hopefully it should be done here in a little bit. I'll have to flip it over and I'll do the other side and I'll have to do the same thing for the other door. So uh, next time you see it, it should be completely done. Here we go, this is the final product. I went through and I stained and I actually, to kind of create this washed look, I used some mineral spirits and kind of wiped it down a little bit and uh, kind of gave it that real rustic look. Uh, I'm not gonna be covering this in the video, but uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, the install. This was pretty cheap. It can be really expensive if you get it at Home Depot. But the goal for me was really to keep this project as economical as possible. So I'm, a, I'm an amateur, as I've mentioned before. I'm an amateur woodworker. I really love to work with wood. I work in my garage all the time making things, but by no means am I a professional. So for those of you out there that see a thousand different ways that I could have done it better, I'm sure there, there definitely are. So. I'm gonna do my best to uh, just keep learning here and it looks like my kids are uh, freaking out. So now it's time to be a dad. So good luck with your project.